Okay, behind the glove box is a cool contraption. So, take that off. There's a bolt and there's a bolt on the other side. So, I'm going to take that off and let's just see what. Don't forget to disconnect the negative battery terminal and take off the glove box. Just look at it. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Focus. Ah, it's blurry. There we go. Take the glove box off. And take take those bolts off. Okay, you'll be in awkward positions, but I'm using a 13 millimeter deep socket torque wrench. Not a torque wrench, but just a you know a ratchet ratchet. And you just gotta go back in there and take those two bolts off, and I'll be taking it off here in a minute. Looks like a fuse. Okay. It's right next to the speed sensor up there. This is what I pulled out. It was up in there, and there's two. Oh, let's get up in there. Yeah. These two studs. That stud and that stud. And that's where this bracket was at. Took the two bolts off. It's right be right right above the PCM, the powertrain control module. And then the speed sensor is over here for the airbag. But here's what I took off. And now that part's broken, the little clip, but the other part's not. So we're gonna take that clip off. We'll do that right now. All right, since we got this, um, usually when you use tools, it tries to break it, but, you know, there we go, there we go, now that is the Mega Fuse, <laughs> I'm going to look those numbers up, H6F25, and this is just a bracket here, you can see in the back, how it works so you just push that in push that in and it should come right out if I don't hurt myself yeah just looking looking at the laws of physics push that in to go in and out and then it slides out like so so you now you have a bracket and then you have this cool really cool connector all right that's how you remove that and to install it you just do the opposite push on there until it clicks all right it didn't click but it looks like it's on there and then you put this back on just push it back on there and then you put it back on those brackets up there there's a 13 millimeter I took two of these off. Here's the the nut. First you need to use the nut. The nut is useful for reproduction. And then here is the 13 millimeter. It's like the opposite or a helicopter controls whenever you're looking at the camera. But yeah. Okay, this is the relay assembly door lock. 12 volt. This is made in Austria. How about that? There's the numbers. Just type those numbers in in the search engine and you'll find your replacement. It's a relay assembly door lock. Fuse. How about that? Thank you. Okay, to install the relay assembly door lock. All right, now we have the battery disconnected, the negative terminal. All right, we are currently underneath the passenger compartment. We took off the, um, just for easier access, we took off the glove box. All right, so here we have this. We got to match the holes up. It's a matching game, so it's fun, that's fun. 
matching's always fun. But you want to, these are, these are numbered. So on here, they have numbers on them. As you can see, one, two, one, two, three, five. I wonder where four is. And you put it in that way. Oh my goodness, it won't work. I can't get it in there. Okay, I can remember that these numbers, I went through the video, these numbers go between these clips. That's how I remember it. I had to take pictures, the video, I do video. There we go, snap back on there. So there you go. Now it's back on there. And now you gotta mount it. And I'll get you set up here. The mounting location is right here, there, here. There's a bolt, and there, there's a bolt. So you just wanna get this back up in there. Right behind the airbag speed sensor and above the um, powertrain control module. Get your little bolt, adjust your camera. All right, and then you're gonna wanna get on your back. There we go. Get that in there. Here, I can show you guys what's going on here. This is what's going on. Get that on there tight, 13 millimeter. And I can only fit a, um, it was a deep deep socket, 13 millimeter. Not on this one, but the one above it. Ratcheting tool. All right, that's on there, tighten it up. Connect your battery back up. Connect your battery, battery back up and then you're good to go. Thank you. All right, there I have the 13 millimeter torch. There we go. And it's good. 